can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Where are your hands? That kick blocked by Lee. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. Pretty pinpoint left hand right there. Beautifully timed and placed front kick there by the kickboxer, and that's going to allow him, I would think, to really maintain this range against the overall more well-rounded fight. I mean, yeah, he's in there with a guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight. But if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue down this path, continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, poke at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. So more output, at least in the early going. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are getting after it. Left hand! And landed some nasty strikes. And again. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Look at that great work to the body for the clinch. Jacasey goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that. Punches and bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness even be on his feet right now. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Knee to the body. Lands a nice straight. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, huge knee to the head. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, Jacasey gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Huge damage from that elbow. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Whiffs on the right hand. 
under a minute now to go in the round. It's not over, it's not over. Well, block that punch. All right, single collar tie now. Solid kick by him there. Oh, nice. Keep pushing, keep busy. Gets the elbow up into the target. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Jacasey going for the takedown here, but he misses. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All it. right, round two. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there slinging leather again, or he'll find the light shut out this time. Well, that's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Head kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Oh, nice punch there by Jacasey. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, thwack. That is a solid kick right there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Now getting that left hand home to the target. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Short uppercut in the clinch by Jacasey. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Finds his range with the jab. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. 
Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, that's a good strike there by Jacasey. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. One minute to go in the round. Oh, beautifully timed and placed hook by him there, DC. Beautiful placement on the hook. Way to turn his body into it, make sure he kept his eyes on his opponent. Hurts him and gets back to safety. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Nice jab. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Seconds winding down in round two. Two rounds in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, he has been nothing if not masterful on the feet this evening, and a lot of his effectiveness has been because of that jab. He established it early, and that helped to set up some of his combinations, but you look at the numbers, bottom of your screen, the jab has really been the primary storyline in this one. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. That's a good series of kicks here. the underhook. Fighter separates from the clinch now. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Jacasey. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Jab by Jacasey. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Doing a really nice job switching up the speed and the tempo of these kicks. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. 
We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands up, to the head. Get up, get up, get up. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Just over two minutes to go. Oh. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted. That cuts. Oh. Oh, he's got him hurt here. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, beautiful kick to the head. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Another huge kick is true. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Casey gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Under a minute now to go in this one. 60 seconds. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you could tell that he had a purpose to come on here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Patented front kick there by Jacase. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, hook to the head by Jacase. Great job landing that body kick. Final seconds here. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the new. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Jacasey gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Clipped him with the right hand there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. That's a really strong leg kick there by Jacase. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Beautiful jab there by the champ. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Going to the sidekick. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. What a 
fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for certain. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Jacasey's in half court. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Lee's back in half guard. Very comfortable here. Oh, nice. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Nice combination. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Oh, body shot. You better get that elbow down or he's gonna keep blasting those body kicks right into your ribs. Swing and a miss by Jacasey. Just missed with the leg kick. And that one certainly found the target. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of this opponent. Nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Jacasey. Nice crack there. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. And the kick lands. Jacasey's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. 10 seconds remaining in round four. For the end of round four. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Jacasey gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Oh, good power with a short shot to the head in the clinch. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axis. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. 
Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Big power shot there. Another big shot to the head. Jacasey's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Great body kick there. That's a great kick landed there. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Beautiful right hand over the top. More strikes to the head. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Always offensive. Lands a shot from the bottom. Lee's in half goal. Big ground and pound. Oh, right into Mount. He a lot needs of fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Working from the top here. Pretty good grounded pound here by Jacasey. Mm, nice. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jacase. Another punch to the head. Oh, nice jab by Jacase. Oh, man, hit to the lane. Jacase's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up for block. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Oh, uppercut. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? What a fight. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Oh, good knee. Oh, Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Fourth we go. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Oh! Oh! What a kick. That would land. Big head kick. Kick late from the champ. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, 
And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and given this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about, you know he's gonna get everyone's best shot.